Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to tell you about how I got scammed during Freshers. So for me, Freshers week started the week beginning the 13th of September, so a little bit earlier than the majority of unis. Now, obviously, like a lot of people, in like April, May time, I booked onto some Fresher events, as again, most people do. And I booked onto the Boohoo event, hasn't happened yet, at least as I'm filming this, because it's on the 11th of October. So I've got the Boohoo event. I went to a, um, oh my God, what was it called? I went to this carnival kind of type one, like it wasn't a carnival, but it was kind of thing, you know. Um, first event, oh, I booked onto this Naughty's Disco on the Monday. So I went to that, had fun, etc. On the Tuesday, I was booked onto this Fresher Fun House, Ball Pit, Rogeo, Machine, etc etc Wednesday night off Thursday was the carnival event so I went to three events during my freshers week and then the boohoo one is just really late the reason why I got scammed during freshers was actually for the Tuesday freshers this fresher fun house now it sounded incredible when I booked it. Like genuinely, it sounded so fun. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm a big kid. A 50,000 ball machine. Honestly, amazing. So, Tuesday, Tuesday the 14th. Is it the 14th? Yeah, Tuesday the 14th comes around. I get ready. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going there with a few people so we all sort of meet up and we head there now the location was never specific it never like it just didn't seem like it on fat soma it was literally just called the cam as in c-a-m-b so it was sort of like well nothing's turning up on google now on first soma there was an address given like a postcode kind of thing so obviously you follow that and as i'm almost at this location i then get a snapchat message from someone who was also going to go to that event asking saying hey where is it like i've gone to the proposed location but there's nothing there so immediately that sort of sends off like a warning signals in my head being like okay how come it's not there so the people i'm with we walk to that proposed location but whilst we're walking we just bump into someone you know how the, there's like reps on the street with like wristbands get discounted entry to so and so so we bumped into one of those got a wristband for a different night for a nightclub and he was just talking about it and he'd never heard of this location like he'd never heard of the cam but we continue walking to the location and there's nothing there and there's nothing sort of signposted as such or you can't really hear like any music kind of thing and that's when we realized that this event that this event doesn't exist we've been scammed out of our money and so we had then head to the nightclub that we got a wristband for and got discounted entry so incredible so we go there and we yeah we just go there and have fun kind of thing and whilst i was there because there's like different levels and one on the top level sort of more of like a chill zone 
no music but just more like chill whilst i was up in that sort of like zone i did request a refund on fat zoma yeah i ordered yeah i ordered it on fat zoma so i request a refund now in total i paid six pounds but that did include a one pound booking fee and so when i was requesting a refund i could only request a refund for the five pounds which is the cost of the ticket so i did technically lose a pound but for a sake of a pound i'm not too bothered so i request a refund sort of expecting not to get anything in a sense like to have it disputed to have it rejected whatever but my refund request goes through like it's accepted and so i then set to get the five pounds and the five pounds went through no problem whatsoever however the sort of idea that a few of us have is that they're probably counting on people to not request a refund to not bother about it because they've not spent that much on it which is probably why yeah granted i think there's still tickets for it there might have not been actually um, but you've got to think if they've had like even like 500 tickets that's still a fair amount of money they're gonna make like even from this scam they've still made they've still possibly made 500 pounds granted i don't know whether the booking fee goes to Fasoma. if so then they probably not they probably lost a f bit more but they're still gonna have made money unfortunately but yeah i still went out i still had fun it was actually more chill that night which was quite nice and i got to sort of meet more people that i've that i had been in group chats with and also there were some people on my course so that was really really nice and yeah but that is the story of how i got scammed or or, or like during freshers or like I got scammed during Fresh's kind of story. So, be wary. If. Basically, Google search your location before you go to book a ticket. Now, technically, I got some scammed from another event. However, all you had to do for that event was sign up for early access. So, I haven't lost any money on that. But, so yeah, just sort of be wary. You can get scammed during freshers on fresher tickets on Fat Soma because in some ways you kind of least expect it. But then again, I guess they're not gonna like check out every single event, venue, etc. But yeah, just be one that that does happen. But hey ho, I still got my five pounds back. So that's a bonus i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to watch another one of my videos and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys